You have many, I'm sure, but uh, can you share maybe one standout moment from from line with the Marines and on the Hornet? Do you know, I was uh, I was thinking about this this morning, Mike, <laughs> as I was driving up. Um, again, um, I've probably got about 30 great experiences, uh, but I'll, I'll just do the first one then. Um, I, I got onto VMFA 121 and part of your yearly um, currency is to do DACT, 1v1 DACT. And uh, we had the resident F-14D squadron and the F-14D had massive engines. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and so I was up with my boss in the back seat and we were going up against uh, an F-14D and everybody was warning me. Bear in mind I had less than 100 hours on the Hornet at this time. Everybody was warning me, the F-14D, it'll, it'll outpower you, it'll race around the circle quicker than you and, and such like this. So what you have to do is fly, the, the Marine Corps and the US Navy fly, used to fly um, air combat a little bit by numbers energy management diagrams, yeah. this is your best turn speed at, at stuff. Whereas we taught people to look out of the window and fight what you see mm. and try and dictate things a little bit. So uh, I briefed up with the boss and uh, had all this uh, great advice from all the other pilots on the squadron because there was a bit of, you know, squadron into rivalry going, God, we met this F-14 crew. They were massive. I mean, the, the guys were massive. They were like <laughs> linebackers out of a... Um, uh, American football yeah, team, yeah. and the, and their yeah. pilot, he was um, he was one of their flight commanders, and, it, and he had this huge kind of reputation and whatnot. And when they briefed us, they had this kind of arrogance about them, and that mm. really annoys me. Oh, yeah. So um, so anyway, uh, off they go. And I said to the boss, I said, look, I, I know you want me to fly this. They call it a yardstick Hornet, you know, merging about 320 knots and stuff. I said, I'm going to try something a bit different. And uh, and I told him what I was going to try, and he said. Yeah, okay, so what if it doesn't work? I said, well, then I will be working my nuts off to <laughs> claw back the advantage that I've just given them. But these guys expected us to fly on numbers. I did something different. They tried to power out of it by going vertical. I just shot an AMRAM at the, their backside. Wow. And um, because they didn't think I could get the nose, uh, nose round in time for them to come back towards us. And that was it. And as soon as you lose the first fight, you are screwed for the rest of the trip oh, really? because you're off your game then. Right. They expect to win the first fight. I expect that I'm going to try my best to win the first fight. Whoever loses the first fight, it doesn't matter after that because fight, fight two and three, you're not in it because you got shot on the first one. That's, that's the mindset. But they don't have that, that, that kind of really aggressive go after them mindset or they ah. didn't on that day because I, th I think they just thought their jet could outpower us. And once they'd lost the first fight, and now it's a bit embarrassing for them. They were all over the place after that. We had three fights and, and absolutely destroyed them. Got back in the, um, uh, in the crew room and, and we're just regaling these tales. I've got to say, that makes me sound like I'm ace of the base fighter pilot, Mike. Not the case. That Hornet was spectacular. Yeah. And with a little bit of lateral thought, you could take it to a place that the numbers couldn't really take you. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a debrief after that with them? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that like? It's all very, uh, <laughs> what, what, what I love about it is that um, the results don't lie in these things. Trust me, ass handed to me a number of times. Uh, and in the Hornet as well, I flew against an ex-top gun instructor and he was all over me like a rash. And it was a very humbling experience. So if people come into a debrief with a, a kind of humble uh, attitude, then I'm okay with that. Yeah. If they come in and try and fight fire with fire, you know, and the, and the score's 3-0, then they're, 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 they're just pushing it uphill from, from that point on. Yeah. So we were, we were very, um, we didn't lord it over them. We were, we were very uh, uh, kind of circumspect in, uh, in what we said. We all agreed it was a lot of fun and let's do it again sometime and, and all that, you know. What a brilliant story. Yeah.